Hello, I'm Aaron McCarty for EDTV20, and I'm here on campus tonight with Steve Marino. He's the Knight Supervisor and Veterans Coordinator here at SCCC. Uh, first off, Steve, can you uh, tell us what you do here at the college and uh, a little bit about your background? Well, first of all, I'm uh, Steve Marino, the Knight Supervisor and the Veterans Counselor. Uh, I, I work from like 3 to 10, so I uh, handle all my veterans, which is over 100, uh, in different chapters. Uh, just a little bit about the veterans. Uh, there's been a new chapter come out post 9-11, which Aaron is uh, one of my veterans. Uh, this is uh, what, what I call taking care of our, our veterans who have served overseas. Uh, they pay 100% of the college uh, if they serve at least a year overseas. And they get BAH, that's uh, the housing end of it. They get $1,000 a year for their books. But I also still have my old veterans, my old Chapter 30s, the old Vietnam era. Uh, I got the National Guard, 1606. I, I have the Reservists, Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. Uh, and, uh, but my majority is the post-9-11 GI Bill. Yeah. Okay, uh, so as you said, the post-9-11 GI Bill is the uh, newest one that has passed through Congress. Uh, this is the first year that it's being implemented for veteran students. Uh, have you had any problems at all with the transition be between <laughs> Chapter 30 and Chapter 33? No, the biggest problem is uh, probably internal. That you know, to implement this between financial aid and the business office, the veteran, myself, in uh, Buffalo, New York, and to get everything coordinated uh, so we get paid, the veteran gets paid. Uh, the, the bugs have been there, but they're getting ironed out slowly. We're into the the first, second semester of this new GI Bill, and it's working out very good for the veterans. Okay, um, in your opinion, uh, for new veterans coming in, would, uh, is it a wiser to choose the Chapter 30 or a Chapter 33, or is that a more personal basis? It's an individual call. Uh, I say that because uh, Chapter 30 uh, sometimes uh, benefits the veteran more than the new post 9-11. But with the Chapter 30, uh, the VA as soon as the Chapter 30 expires, they're giving them a year or 12 months extension on that, which is ideal for the veteran who's uh, coming to an end of their VA benefits. That's just been approved. All right, uh, so how did you get involved here at SCCC as the Veterans Coordinator? The old saying, it comes with the territory. I uh, started here uh, like 15 years ago as a night nice supervisor and taking care of all my 10 veterans and that 10 veterans has gone a long way since then. It was most, it's, uh, it's uh, mostly uh, National Guard back then in Chapter 30. So we've, we've come a long way with the veterans since then. Okay, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your service? I'm an old paratrooper, uh, Vietnam era 1964-66, with quite a few jumps, and I survived. <laughs> Army. Army. Oh, I'm Navy personally, so it tends to be a little bit of bickering about who the better branch is. <laughs> Nonetheless, uh, a lot of respect between all the veterans here. Um, so thank you, Steve, for your time. Uh, well, I was going to say my veterans. Uh, if you need, if you ever need anything, my veterans are always there. Uh, they they stand at my door at attention, especially the Corps, the Marine Corps. Uh, they have a tendency, yes sir, no sir, yes sir. But that's been uh, five or six years of the Corps. Uh, they they do that. The Marine Corps, Navy's a little lax. The Air <laughs> Force a little lax. The Army is the Army. And very, I have very few uh, Coast Guard. But the Marines, uh, I have to remind them that the war's over. They don't have to stand at attention at my door. Uh, and the veterans, uh, when you ask them to do something, they do it. That would makes my job so much easier. That when I I say I need this, I need that it's there, you know, and, and they're standing at the door. As soon as I want my answers, they have them. Okay, uh, so just one more time for the veterans on campus. Uh, what times are you available? My door, I have an open door policy with my veterans. My door is always open. Uh, my cell, like you heard before bringing, is always on. Uh, I'm, my regular hours, I'm here from uh, 3 to 10, Monday to Thursday, I'm off Friday, and I'm here Saturday, 8 to 4. Uh, but they can get a hold of me at any time. Uh, if they walk in my office, my roommate, 
uh, the scheduler, Donna Richards, will let me know if it's important. She'll call me by cell, and I'll get right back to the veterans immediately. They are my priority. All right. Well, Steve, thank you very much for no, your time. I for thank your you for serving our country. All right. Thank you. Uh, so one more time for EDTV20, I am Aaron McCarty. Uh, thank you, and have a good night.